It's been some fall from the top tier of world golf. But good signs last week. Up at uh, the Hero Open, his first te top 10 finish for a long time. To say for Lucas this week, it's quite a good course, I would imagine. It's got a bit of width to it. And if you are if you are struggling, you know, with your game, it's probably one that's one that would suit someone like Lucas, definitely, I think. A few dog legs and doesn't have that sort of visually intimidating feel on the tee, which I think when you're trying to make your way back. Get this one nice and snug. So he powered that through the line. On the team from France, Victor Perez. Yeah, that's a bit better. One good one, one bad one, and one decent one. But you really need to punch this one out, muscle it. Aye. You have to say he's been unlucky there. He's only caught it by a foot. He looked like he was. 20 yards right of that, didn't it? This pin is very much tucked in on the right. You want to go just left of it. It's certainly fizzing. Very nice. Beautifully struck. Clipped off the top. Right angle of attack. Down breeze. Still managing to draw it back. Sweet. Cross-handed putting style of Lucas Biergaard. This would be a really good four. Way off piece with the driver. And look at that. The guy that hit it in the bundu walks off with a four. Well, beer guard was going a little bit right at the flag, pulled it a hair coming out of the rough and ended up taking on the very brave line. I'm going to say it. I fancy this one. A little bit off the right. Can't knock that. Good call. Good shout. That was a big swing on that one. Now he's back on track, Lucas Beergard. Go on. Okay, I think Bernie Machine, Robert McIntyre for me. I, I would pick him as long as Larry gets in. I'd have him all day with two four balls. I think he'd be an absolute asset. Oh, hello. If I had to pick someone and it had to be a rookie, I would pick Guido Miliozzi. Oh, he's a great player. If your name doesn't begin with H, though, it's not good news, is it? Looking at that. Beer guards on super well. 175 yards now. Also slight down slope front pin. Yeah, needs to be careful here, not to be too cute. Just play the middle of the green. Make your five and get out of there. Yeah, that's that's his second mistake on this birdie ball par five. Tight lie, elevated green. Just seeing the reason why Lucas Bergar is just where he is right now in the world. He's just lacking confidence. He's just he's, he's adding shots that shouldn't be added in there. Bergar, remember, drove it into the left hand deep rough. He's got this for par at nine. A lot of navy blue, if you notice. This group's all in navy blue, tops wise. The previous group, Campio, navy blue. I wonder if it's the choice for a Thursday. Just a fairway wood. Oh, eh? Nice and softly. Oh, that's fine. Little knuckle bounce to the right, thank you. Going down the length of the green from the left side here, a little easier. For Lucas Beregard, I think he likes it. Not bad. Pin is three from the left. If you miss on the left, it's really tricky because the green slopes from left to right. And last week, even if you missed it, it always looked like it was going to go in. And this one looks like it's going to go in. Beautifully done. This is a very much an elevated tee box here on the par three. This is looking good if it's the number. That's a lovely shot. He's now got a bit of momentum, Lucas Beergaard. Now, <laughs> yeah, does he like this? 
think he does. That's a handsome tee shot down there. Hardly any roll. Perfect line. Rock called an eagle coming from this group. He likes that a lot. Oh, that was an absolute honey of a shot. Can't afford to go long and left. Never left the flag. You can almost feel the confidence creeping up his trouser leg. Perfect angle this is for Villagrasa. Virtually straight up the hill, not much in it. And he pulled it. Coming out of the rough. I expect this to come a little bit left. Great play there, pin high. He has a solid week. He can control what he'll be doing next year and plan his schedule. Down the slope is a bit slippery. It's a bit slippery. Yeah, judged it well. Good effort. You do have five fairway bunkers just left here that you want to avoid, but I reckon Beergard's going to take it on. He's a long hitter. Does he like it? Has he found another fairway? Yes, he has. Suddenly the confidence is starting to flow again for Lucas Biergaard. He's going to work this in a little bit from the right. Just bring me a fraction right. Here she comes with any luck. Yeah, the only difference for me, I think he presses into the ground in the transition more than he used to. It's not a lie. We've got 243 for Beregard. Cutting the corner just a fraction. Someone likes it. And he knew what he was talking about. What a shot that is. Fantastic. Down the breeze. What's that? Four or five iron, Kent? Superb. The shadows are getting long, just covering the hole. It's a ludicrous lie. It's an incredible find, isn't it? I mean, the, the bushes have blocked him out. Wow. And what's more incredible is the fact <laughs> he's got it over the green. He's made Honestly, the, made the dog incredible. leg play a little bit shorter than mine, doesn't he? <laughs> well, that long rough so easily tangles the shaft up. That was one heck of a beat. Everything moved like Arnold Palmer in the old days. What? Here we go. This is You can see how easy that to got to be tangled up all the way through now oh my goodness most people would have hoiked it left look at it coming out tricky this one isn't it yeah nasty little lie but he needs to make sure he hits it hard trying to use the flight really to get the spin back into the breeze <laughs> what a four that is he'd given up on that one how's your luck how's your luck I mean it's some crook shots <laughs> it's been all over the place <laughs> Puts down mint. It's going to release and release. Oh, I thought that was in. Well, this will be interesting. Amazing. Has to hit a shot and does. Maybe that's the problem. He's just not focused enough. He's not clear in his mind what he needs, what picture he needs to show. Because that, yes, it's a wide tee shot, but it's littered with trouble. Well, don't be too ambitious, I would say. Aim centrally and hope you get the right distance because it's a narrow putting surface. Yeah, I would probably play a little bit further back in the stance and just try and punch it a little bit, make sure I guarantee the strike, hit the ball cleanly. And that's a good shot. He deserves a, a free putt at it. If he goes too long, he's got no putt, so that's a good shot considering the poor bit of luck he had. He was Away. Just pure as a driven snow. That was just a beautiful putt. Lovely two putt. Well, he's been a Houdini today at times. Yeah, super finish. That was not an easy putt. 
And you wouldn't have said well, what we watched. It would be around in 67. Pretty, pretty unbelievable goal. Smiling now. So does that mean you had a nice afternoon around the scoreboard? I did. I did. Uh, got myself into a bit of trouble uh, a couple of times, but I luckily got out of it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with the round today. And it's nice to continue some of the good stuff from uh, from last week. Would you do well next week? It was. It's. Um, yeah, it's tough to say actually because uh, I, I hit some good drives, I hit some really bad ones, I hit some good iron shots, I hit some really bad, terrible ones, and uh, and I made a few good putts and then I missed a, f a few short ones as well. So it's like uh, it was not. I, f I fought well. I kind of hung in there and uh, and and uh, as I said, got out of trouble a couple of times where it could have gone a lot worse. Tell us about fighting down the 16th because if I hit it in the straw, I don't find it. If I find it, I can't get it out. And you hit a putt where you walk in, which was missed for me, but it went in. Tell us about that, please. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that's a good example of my my round today. Uh, you know, hit a terrible drive, uh, found it luckily. I hit a really good shot out of there, rolled just over the green, didn't hit a great chip shot, and then thought I'd missed the putt right, and it, it kind of caught the edge and and went in. So I think it sums up my day pretty good, pretty well. You in a good place because you had a good start last week, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, Nice to get off to a good start today, obviously, and uh, you know there was lots of good in there. Um, it wasn't all like 16, but <laughs> uh, so it's it's nice. I, I I'm not complaining. I'm. It's a lot uh, more fun playing like this than uh, what I have been playing lately. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.